Palestine must be demilitarized. Sorry, why should Palestine be demilitarized? Don't they have the right of self-defense? Aren't their life in danger much more than we Israelis? I believed in it for years. I was an advocate of the two-state solution as when very few Israelis were advocating two-state solution. I thought it's a courageous idea, a wonderful idea. Two peoples share one land. Let's share the land between the two peoples. What is more just than this? The only thing I didn't know is that nobody in Israel means to go for it. Ever, 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 never, never, ever. There was not a single Israeli prime minister, not a single Israeli government who had an intention to go for the two-state solution. There was never an Israeli prime minister, Israeli government who had the slightest intention to put an end to the occupation. Even this courageous process which brought Nobel Peace Prize to some people even this process didn't mention the core issue then, and this is the settlements. And when you don't touch the settlements, you have no intention to put an end to the occupation. And if you don't agree, first of all, to freeze this whole criminal project, and then to evacuate the settlements, there are no two states. Palestine must be demilitarized. Sorry, why should Palestine be demilitarized? Don't they have the right of self-defense? Aren't their life in danger much more than we Israelis? What other country in the world is demilitarized? Why would they be demilitarized? Why can Israel possess any possible weapon in the world and Palestine has no right to have any kind of weapon? What kind of justice is this? Based on what? The two-state solution was never born Israel went for it after many years of opposing it because they saw that this can lead to decades and decades of occupation without doing anything.